Hello, welcome back to another ASC training video. My name is Anthony and today I'll be taking you through how to effectively and safely use the Milwaukee M18 cable crimper. To get started, since we are in a shop environment, we will need our hard hat, safety glasses, hearing protection, and steel toed shoes. Additional PPE required for this tool are gonna to be cut resistant gloves since the cable that you will be crimping is gonna be sharp. This is an essential tool for our electricians that they use when they lay out their electrical panels. You will find all the Milwaukee tools our electricians use, such as the cable crimper, cable cutter, and the cable stripper in this electrical cabinet located at A4. Not only are the tools in their carrying cases inside of this cabinet, but so is the charging stations. Remember to return the tools when you're done. Don't hoard them as there is no checkout list. For today's example, I'll be using this six inch two aught wire. To begin, let's go over the anatomy of the crimper. You have your M18 red lithium battery. You always wanna make sure you have a fully charged battery before you begin. We have our crimping jaw. This is a major pinch point. This is the major safety hazard of the tool is gonna to be the jaw. Always keep your hands clear while you're using it. We have our trigger. Go ahead and press the trigger and hold it and it'll engage the jaw. Once the jaw has completely crimped down, it'll automatically release itself. Now for in any reason in the crimping process, if you need to cancel, it's gonna lock. There's a, there's a button right here on the backside. Go ahead and press and hold it with your thumb for a couple seconds and that'll automatically release the tension. Let's go over how to replace the dies. Always remove your battery when you go to replace the dies. Hold open the jaw, and then let's find our, our die. For this purpose, I do have a two aught wire, so I'm gonna go ahead and find my corresponding die. Here we go, got my two aught. Open the jaw back up. You're gonna pull open this little tab here and then slide your die right on in, making sure that it is locked into place. Do the same thing for the other side. Again, do this with the battery removed. This alleviates any pinch hazards. And then we can pop back on our battery. When it comes to crimping, for the uh, vast majority, we will just be crimping on our lugs to our aught wire. Again, for this purpose, I will be using two aught wire. If you have any questions on which crimp, which die to use or which wire to use, the box has a handy uh, diagram here. It's broken down into colors and aught size. So I'm on two aught wire right here, black, Another thing that this chart will let me know is how many crimps to make on the lug itself. Some dies will require one crimp, some dies will require two. So it's essential that you check on this chart before you do that. So again, I got my two aught, follow it over. Then it breaks it down into the brand of lugs that we're using. For our instance, I am using the Panduit brand lugs. So Panduit band lugs for this is gonna be two crimps. Now that I've checked my chart and I know how many crimps to make, I can go ahead and get ready. For this purpose, again, keeping my hands as clear as I can from the pinch hazard, I'm going to get my lug in place. And then I'm just gonna gently squeeze the trigger to tighten the lug in place. So that way I can just insert my wire all the way to the back and then go ahead and hold it again until it automatically releases itself there we go just so that it holds my lug in make sure we have our lugs of the same orientation slide it in and then hold it let's keep doing another one here And you can switch from hand to hand. Insert. 
Release. Again, making sure that my lugs are aligned in the same orientation. Insert. And release. It's a very simple tool. Once we're done using it, we always want to place our dies back in the corresponding spot. We are not, don't want to mix them up. We don't want to lose them. Always return the tool back to its carrying case and then return it when you're done. Once you're done using the tool, make sure you put everything back where it belongs, have a fully charged battery, and then this gets stored in our electrical cabinet. Thank you for watching my safety video. I hope you found it informative. I'll see you in the next one.